So now that we've kind of talked a little bit about tennis elbow or lateral epicondylitis, I do want to kind of go through uh, some of the evaluation process, what we would be looking for with you guys in the office. Uh, so first thing we're going to check is uh, if, if some of these positions are painful. I'm going to have Connor try to resist extension. So he's going to try to extend his wrist. I'm going to give him resistance there. So go ahead and pull up. Um, if that creates pain here in the elbow, that's usually positive for, for uh, the tennis elbow. Uh, the other one we can do is resistive middle finger extension. So just light pressure against his middle finger, he resists that uh, tensing flexion and, uh, and uh, see if that creates similar pain up high. As I mentioned, one of the techniques that we can utilize to help treat tennis elbow is called active release technique. Again, this is sort of a functional massage. It's a soft tissue technique. Uh, so what we want to do is bring Connor into a position that fully shortens those muscles and tendons. We add compression from the doctor here, and then we're gonna take that through a full range of motion, extending his elbow, flexing his wrist, bringing him all the way down. And he can tell you, even without tennis elbow, that does kind of hurt so good, you know what I mean? It's a really effective way to break down tension inside the tissue, uh, as well as create separation of the tissues uh, that may have sort of been inadvertently tethered to one another through the course of scar tissue um, production with the body.